Hello and welcome to Live It Tonight with me, Sonali Krishna. And today we're focusing on exotic Japanese chocolates. It's called Royce and it's entered India about a year ago. And to take me through why this chocolate is so exotic and Japanese in chocolates and how you make that connect, I'm joined by Avni Raheja, the woman who's brought Royce to India. So good to meet you, Avni. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. So, Avni, tell me a little bit about Royce. It's a Japanese brand. And, yes. you know, uh, why is it exotic? Because Japanese in chocolates. Nobody makes the connect. Yeah, I get asked that question quite a bit. The, uh, the founder of the company, Yasuhiro Yamazaki, founded the company 30 years ago. And, um, you know, he was inspired by Europe and the Belgian chocolatiers and what they were doing there. And he went back to his country and he said, you know what, uh, Sapporo, the area, Hokkaido region in Japan, right. is, is like the Switzerland of Japan. Okay. So he said, you know, we have great ingredients here. The dairy is, is fabulous. Why don't I start making chocolate? Sure. And so that's how it came about. Okay. Take me through, uh, you know, the, the display here and tell me as to why each one is so different from, let's say, uh, the regular luxury chocolates one is so used to. Um, so the first chocolate we're going to taste is the Nama chocolate. Okay. Nama in Japanese means fresh and pure. Okay. Um, so that's, that's really what this chocolate is about. It's all about the texture. Right. Um, this chocolate contains fresh cream from the Hokkaido region in Japan. Um, so yeah, why don't we get yeah, started? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? All right, Can't so. Wait. So this is dark? So yeah, this is a dark fragrant chocolate. Um, so we have three variants in the Nama range that we have in our stores in India. Right. Um, so there's a Ghana bitter, which is a dark, which is just a pure bitter. There's the Ecuador sweet, which is a fragrant bitter. And then there's the mild cacao, which is a milk Nama chocolate. Excellent. How much would this cost, for instance? How much would this pack cost? So this box costs 1050. Okay. Um, and it comes with 20 pieces. That's of not too uh, unreasonable. I mean, have you really dumbed down? Uh, the prices for the Indian market, considering we're a sensitive market. So yes, we've been we've been careful with our pricing. We are priced lower than Royce in Dubai and Royce in the U.S. Can we move on to this? Looks so exotic. <laughs> sure. So this, like I said, you know, the food researchers come in here. They've paired crispy potato chips with chocolate. Um, so you get a little flavor of sweet and salty. Sure. And uh, the potatoes are also from the Hokkaido region. So Hokkaido in Japan is, is known for their potato. Mm -hmm. So you, you'll see it's a very crisp potato chip and it, uh, it's got a great crunch. Yeah. We were kind of surprised by this. We weren't sure like if the Indian market yeah. would take to it. Um, but you know, we've, we've had a fabulous response for this product. People love it. I'd just like to move to the third sure. variant. So the third chocolate is again an interesting um, bean. So it's, it's made with the Criollo beans. So Criollo is one of the rarest and most expensive cacao beans in the world. Okay. So most chocolate makers make their chocolates with the Forestero and Trinitario cacao beans because you know they're easy to find. The Criollo is only grown in one region in the south of Venezuela by Lake Maracaibo and it's a very low yield crop. So you don't have too many people making chocolate with this bean. Okay. Uh, Abni, if you could just give me uh, some idea about the pairing with these chocolates, what goes best? The, the Namas go really well with uh, alcohol, <laughs> so it could go well with whiskey. Mm -hmm. It also pairs well with coffee. And the Criollo, we recently did a, um, a pairing with a Singleton 18 oh, uh, single malt and that, that paired really well. Okay. You've definitely converted me into being a Royce loyalist. Thanks very much and all the very best for your operations in Great. India. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming by. It was nice having you here.